class, today we're talking about notes 5-9, and we're doing multi-step equations, and we're on page 25 in your binder. So, when we're talking about multi-step equations, it's taking everything that we've learned for this whole unit. When do we distribute? When do we combine? When do we move the variables to the left? And putting it all together in one problem. Okay? So, let's look at this example together. So if we look at the example, we know it's an equation, so we're going to draw our line down the middle. Now, we ask ourselves first, can I distribute? Well, right here I have the distributive property, so I'm going to distribute here. 2 times 4x gives me 8x. 2 times a positive 7 gives me positive 14. Plus 4, and then I have equals 32 plus x on the other side. I've done distributive property. Can I combine like terms? Is the second question I ask myself. Well, yes, I do have some combining like terms on the first side. I have a positive 8x, but then I also have this positive 14 and a positive 4 that are constants that I can combine. So they're already in the right order with the letters first, so I don't need to reorder anything. I can just combine. So I'm going to put my 8x and four, positive 14 plus 4 gives me a positive 18, and that's all equal to 32 plus x. So I've done my combining like terms, I've checked both sides. Now I need to get my letters to the left, so I'm going this way to the left. I have an x on the right hand side that I need to move. I'm going to move the whole term, so I need to subtract x from both sides. Make sure you line it up with your x term. 8x minus x is going to give me 7x, because remember this is a 1, plus 18 is equal to 32. And now this is just like a regular two-step equation. I need to get rid of the constant, so I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. So I'm left with 7x is equal to 14. And then I'm going to divide by 7 to get x by itself. And I'm left with x is equal to 2 for my final answer. Okay, so make sure that you're doing that distributive property first. And then you check for your combined like terms. And then you check for your variables on both sides to move your letters to the left. Okay, so for questions 1, 2, 3, and 4, all we're going to do is we're going to say what the first step to solve would be. So we can follow each of the things we need to do. So we can ask ourselves for number 1, do we need to distribute? Well, no. Do we have any combining like terms? Yes, we're going to combine the 6x and this negative 13x. And if you need to draw a little line there. So I need to do my combining like terms first. Okay, you do 2, 3, and 4, so pause the video here, and all you're telling me is what are you doing first? Are you going to do combining like terms, which is your CLT? Are you going to do the variables on both sides, so you're going to do VBS? Or are you going to distribute? So go ahead, do 2, 3, and 4. All right, really quick, let's talk about what would be the first step for us to do. So, do I have any distributive property in this one? No, I don't have any distributive property. Do I have any combining like terms on either side of the bar? No, but I do have this negative 7m here that I need to move to the left, so I would do positive 7m in order to solve that. And that's your variables on both sides, or your letters to the left, so you need to do your VBS first. Looking at number three, do I have distributive property? Yes, I do right here. It's on the opposite side of the equation that we're used to seeing it, but that's okay. It still needs to go first, so I need to distribute. If I look at number four, do I need to distribute? Yes, I do. It's right here. Four times four m and four times two, so I need to distribute first. OK, 
Okay. So let's look down below at this notes page. These problems are just your basic, either you're doing combining linked terms or you're doing the distributive property. They're not mixed up in this one. So go ahead, try numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All you're asking yourself is, do I have that distributive property? Do I have combining linked terms? Do I need to get my letters to the left? And then I solve. So go ahead, you do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then we'll talk about a few of them. Okay, now that you've tried some of these, let's check some. So if we look at number 5, I do have distributive properties, so I need to distribute here. 6 times 9x is going to give me 54x. 6 times a negative 5 gives me negative 30 equals negative 3. So I did my distributive. Do I have any combining like terms? No. Do I need to get any letters from the right over to the left? No. So now I just need to solve. So I'm going to add 30 to both sides. Get rid of the constant. So I'm left with negative 3 plus 30 is 27 on that side, and I have 54x on this side. And then I'm going to divide by 54. And in this case, when you do the division, it doesn't work out cleanly. So we can actually simplify this one. And if you get it out of your calculator, it gives you 0 0.5. By this time, you should know that 0 0.5 is actually the fraction 1 half. So you could just know that that's 1 half if you wanted to do it that way, or you could try to simplify down what can I divide by numerator and de denominator by. Let's look at number 7. Number 7, do I have any distributive property I need to do? No. But do I have any combining like terms? Yes. I have a positive 13y and a positive 7y, and then I have the negative 9, which is a constant. They're already in the right order, so I don't need to reorder it. So 13y plus 7y gives me 20y minus 9 is equal to 11. I don't have any letters I need to move to the left, so I'm just going to solve now. I'm going to add 9 to both sides to get rid of the constant. I'm left with 20y is equal to 20. Then I'm going to divide by 20 on both sides to get away from the y. And I'm left with y equals 1. All right. And then let's look at number 9 really quick. Number 9 has that fraction that you need to distribute. So there is distributive property in this one. Remember, it's distributing by the m, the 1m. So when I do 1 third times 1 m, I'm left with 1 third m. And then 1 third times a negative 3 gives me a negative 1 equals 5. So in this case, I'm working with a fraction, but that's okay. I know how to work with it. Do I have any combining like terms? No. Do I have any letters I need to move to the left? No. So now I can just solve. I'm going to get rid of the constant, so plus 1 to both sides. I'm left with 1 third m is equal to 6. Now remember, if I want to get that 1 third away from the letter, I multiply and I flip the fraction over. Multiply and flip cancels here, so I'm left with m is equal to 18 for this problem. Okay? Your answers for number 6 should be 9 equals x. Your answer for number 8 should be a equals 13, and your answer for number 10 should have been x equals 4. If you didn't understand these three or any of the ones I went over, stop the video here and ask for my help in class. And that's all.